Nicolas Maduro reacted quickly after Vice President Pence's video calling to the streets, and he suggested um, strong decisions, political decisions, would be made in the next few hours. Still, we are waiting, and there's no um, uh, no news from uh, the government. So uh, this is, wasn't the first reaction today, since the Venezuelan vice president did the same earlier, suggesting that Mike Pence um, was promoting a coup against Maduro. So this is only hours away of what it's supposed to be, or what's expected to be a huge demonstration planned by the National Assembly to show the government that they have little or no support of the people. This demonstration is, as I was telling you, expected to revive the opposition once again. How likely is it the government is going to intervene to stop these demonstrations taking place? Apparently, they are going to happen right across the nation, are they? Yes, they are planning to appear and to happen in the entire country. And they are said, and they're planning this um, since two weeks ago. Now, the thing is that what the government and even the opposition wasn't expecting was that the protests began um, this Monday after the rebellion of this small group of National Guard. So yesterday, this Monday, we had at least confirmed at least uh, more than 30 points in, in the city of Caracas, in the capital, with protests. Right now, we're speaking about 60 places, 60 different spots in Caracas. This is a confirmation um, that an NGO specialized in conflict and in protests just released on Twitter. So this is something no one was expecting. This is our slums going to the streets, taking the streets, you know, begging for a change. And this is just hours away from the huge demonstration that will happen this Wednesday. Ana, do you think the army's loyalty to Nicolas Maduro can be absolutely guaranteed? There have been over the past, what, 18 months at least, more than a couple of attempts to unseat him. Well, that, that is actually really hard to, um, to answer. We don't know what's going to happen, but what we do know is that the opposition has been firmly asking the um, armed forces to change sides, to choose the Constitution, to avoid um, protecting Nicolas Maduro and this government, which um, the National Assembly says it's usurping power. And this is the main message the National Assembly and the opposition has been um, placing everywhere. And this is something that's different from 2017, 2014. They are directly asking the armed forces to do so. Well, this Monday, we saw a small spark. Maybe this will translate in something bigger. Maybe this won't translate at all. Something that caught our attention is that um, the defense minister, Vladimir Padrino, hasn't um, really shown his, himself on TV uh, or national television or radio speaking about the protests and what the situation, which is actually pretty tense right now.